Happy New Year! It's January 1st, 2019, and you know what that means. A lot of people are making resolutions to change their life. Not me. I made a resolution years ago to stop making resolutions, and that's the only one I've ever kept. I found that resolutions, I always break them, and then it makes me really depressed that I broke them. And I decided it's not worth the stress. Because once you break the resolution and disappoint yourself, you end up stressing out and feeling so guilty that you make things worse. All right? That being said, I'm proposing something for everybody this year. I'm not proposing a resolution for everybody. I'm propo proposing a revolution. Not against the government. Not yet, at least. I will admit there's people on both sides of the aisle that need to go bye-bye. All right? And we definitely need term limits in Congress. We don't need somebody there for umpteen years. You know, let it be like the president. Two terms and they're out. No, I'm proposing a revolution against quacks and quackery. I am sick and tired of all this non-science-based crap that people are out there putting into their bodies. You know, I'm talking about things like bleach. Yeah, I won't say the name of the product itself because if I do, the, the guy who created it might try to sue me because he's that much of a loser. But it is a certain product that a lot of anti-vaxxers are using as an enema or making their children drink it. And it, it is actually an industrial strength bleach meant for bleaching wood pulp. And then they take pictures of the autism-causing parasites their kids pass. But it's really their children's intestinal lining. Yeah. So the bleach treatment needs to go bye-bye. Bye-bye. And frankly, any parent that gives their kids the solution should be charged with child abuse. I'm talking about a certain juice where the creator was called out by Dr. Phil. When you're called out by Dr. Phil, honey, you know you've done wrong. And this juice is made with kale and water and salt. And you let it sit for three days and you drink it. And she claims it'll cure everything. It'll cure yeast infections and the common cold and regrow limbs and cure homosexuality and cure cancer. First of all, why does homosexuality need a cure anyway? There's nothing wrong with being gay. It's just the way God made some people. All right? And regrow limbs? Regrow limbs? That's how you get the lizard from Marvel Comics. Dr. Connor. He tried to regrow his arm, and the next thing you know, he's one of Spider-Man's worst enemies. No, all, all this stuff is going to do is kill you by dehydration. All right? It causes dehydration, di diarrhea, and hallucinations. I'm talking about a certain salve of a certain dark color made with blood root that they claim draws out cancer cells and kills them. But what it really does is it burns all your flesh and you end up with no nose and you look like the Phantom of the Opera. And people are not only putting it on their, their melanomas, but they're putting it on their pets. They're putting it up their hoo-ha for cervical cancer. Women are building, burning great big holes in their chest. It's another one that needs to go bye-bye. Drinking silver, all right? Okay, I use a cream called Silvadine, which is a prescribed cream made by a pharmaceutical company. And it's great for scrapes, burns, rashes. I've even used it on acne breakouts. But you don't drink silver. You go to the doctor and you get an antibiotic. It's time for all this crap to end. I was in the store today and I saw a jade roller, which was supposedly a jade stone that you roll on your face to reduce toxins in your skin. You want to reduce toxins, toxins, you drink water, and you let your liver and kidneys do the work. Because that's what they're there for. 
All right, it's time for all this nonsense to end. It's time we started calling these people out. It's time we started reporting the ads when they show up on our Facebook and our Instagram and our Twitter feeds. And our, you know, report them. Report them as the scams that they are. When you see an anti-vaxxer claiming that there's heavy metals in vaccines, you tell them they're an idiot. When they try to claim that mass shootings are caused by vaccine injuries, you tell them they're an idiot. All right? Yeah, anti-vaxxers are blaming mass shootings on their fictional vaccine injuries. You know, so yeah, that's another one that they... Oh, autism is called by vaccines. Autism is genetic. Autism is genetic. It's not caused by vaccines. It's not caused by vaccines. Transgenderism, they claim that there is fetal DNA in vaccines. And if a boy gets a vaccine with too much female fetal DNA in it, he'll become tra a trans girl. And if a girl gets one with too much boy DNA in it, she'll become a trans boy. That's not where transgender people come from. All right. And now mass shootings. All right. Whatever happened, just blaming the guy who actually chose to pick up the gun and kill people. All right. How about that? Though, okay, correlation is not causation. I will say that. But I will say this. I have a lot of friends who struggle with things like depression, and I've struggled with depression. And they have actually gotten death threats from people for taking medications to deal with their whatever their mental illness happens to be. Death threats. Because these people are like... You don't need a pill from Big Pharma. If you take a pill from Big Pharma, then you deserve to die and you should kill yourself. All right? You just need to eat some organic kale and take a walk in the woods and detox from the heavy metals in the vaccines and your mental illness will be cured. I'm censoring myself. I'm censoring myself. Oh, my God, I'm censoring myself. I think you know what I have behind here, have behind here, have behind here. Okay, so when you get death threats for taking medications that actually help you and make your life better, and there's suddenly there's a rise in mass shootings, hmm, even though correlation is not causation, I do wonder if there isn't a little bit you getting what getting what I'm saying here? All right. That being said, enough is enough. If you're a religious type and you think that God doesn't want you to take antibiotics and vaccines, you're an idiot. All right. God gave us the intelligence to create these things and he God gave us the ingredients to make them with. Obviously God wants us to be vaccinated and take science-based medicines, all right? I highly recommend this book. It's called The Great Partnership by Rabbi Jonathan Sachs, and it is about how religion and science are meant to work together, not separately. They are not enemies. They are friends. I personally like to think that they're lovers. Like, science is a goth chick, and religion is the cheerleader chick, and everybody thinks they should be apart, but they are really madly in love with each other and nothing anybody can say no matter what kind of ignorant fool they are can tear them asunder but it's time to stop it's time to stop with the quackery the quackery needs to end let 2019 be the end of all these phony products and all these scam artists and snake oil salesmen it's time to get back to real science-based medicine. And that is what the 2019 revolution should be about. Thank you.